Almost exactly a year ago this week, I published an article in Fortune magazine with the same title uh, as you see in front of you, uh, Inside Apple. Uh, we decided at Fortune that in Apple, we had a company that the entire world thought they knew a lot about because the world knew about Apple's products and, uh, and they knew about Apple's advertising and its image and its brand and its logo and so on. When in fact, the world knew and, and really still does know very little about how Apple does what it does, what goes on inside Apple. There's a reason for that and it's a major part of my thesis and what I've learned in researching this company intensely over the last year. And that is that Apple doesn't want us to know what goes on inside Apple. Um, Apple is professionally focused on telling us, telling you about its products, not about it. As a business journalist, my job is not to be concerned with what Apple is interested in us knowing, but with what my readers at Fortune Magazine uh, ought to know and want to know. And uh, as a sort of rhetorical device, my, I have come to, decide, uh, come, come to have the opinion that Apple does business differently from the way almost every other business does business, and indeed differently from the way business is taught in business schools. And my challenge as I've gone around speaking about Apple to business schools in particular, but to other businesses and other kinds of schools, is that if Apple does things differently than the way you're teaching it, and if Apple is the most successful, most admired, most valuable company in the world, shouldn't you at least be asking the question, are we teaching the right thing and should we be paying more attention to the, way, uh, to the way Apple does things. There is, a, uh, there is a, a heavy don't necessarily try this at home component to learning about how Apple does what it does. Companies, people, uh, entrepreneurs will want to learn about Apple, not necessarily copy Apple. There's a vibrant discussion going on in Silicon Valley in particular. To be a successful entrepreneur, do you need to be like Steve Jobs? And the undercurrent to that is, thank you, the undercurrent to that is, do you need to behave the way that he behaved? I would submit you do not, and you do not need to have every aspect of your company be like Apple, but uh, in managing a career, in managing a big company, in managing a small company, I think it really pays to understand Apple and to pick and choose what might be uh, applicable.